It's often said that journalists act as a mirror to society, reflecting society back to itself. And I believe it is also much more than this. It is only through bringing forward differing perspectives that we, at an individual level and more broadly, can sort the good ideas from the bad, the true from the fake. We find that people more than ever spend time only with people they agree with. They get their information only from sources they know are going to tell them what they already believe. You know, whatever your political leanings are, I think it's probably a healthy exercise for everybody here to listen to some of the arguments that are being made on the other side, and vice versa. Try to understand where other people are coming from. There's an enormous amount of dislocation going on, not just in the United States, but around the world. And a lot of that has to do with technology and media. The smartphone is only 10 years old. All of the information and media sources, facts, not facts, this information that you get right there in the palm of your hand, that was not there before 2007. The transformation of media and how we get information has changed so fast, like this, that people who don't really know how to use Instagram or Snapchat or the next thing that comes along are feeling a bit left out. There's a really big difference between um, shifting attitudes and changing behavior. So when it comes to media and it comes to technology, shifting attitudes is something that we see quite a lot of and it's a lot easier, arguably, to do. So we're really um, in this space of trying to figure out that bridge and how do we actually go from these online kind of new media spaces where there's a lot around awareness raising and attitude shifting to actually seeing that change in our democratic processes and our institutions. The way that we maintain our kind of true north in a, in a difficult situation that, that we're presented with President Trump is to keep doing what we've always done. Um, be fair, be responsible, be accurate. Because information is power, and then information will ultimately lead to better informed democracy. Really great journalism is all about bringing stories to us and bringing us eye to eye, which I think is pretty essential in terms of overcoming social isolation and building connectedness and giving us a sense of understanding of somebody else's or some other group's story, even if we don't have direct experience with that, somehow we can get a sense in our gut of what that might feel like. Media is, I am certain, an essential defense against bad government. Moreover, it's a critical element to building societies where we all have a voice and we all have hope for a better future.